No. Something I can help with, sir? Yeah, can you give me in the meeting room? No. No? There's not a public meeting going on, or there's no reason for you to be in the meeting room? Yeah, I just wanted to take some photographs of the public area. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, I need help. Okay, well, if you please exit the building then. Oh, no thanks. And the public? What would your story be? Oh, I can't tell you. It's an investigation at this point. <laughs> yeah. I also have every right to know who I'm dealing with. No, you don't. Well, but you need it You me. might want to know, but you don't have the authority to know. About Respect isn't walk stepping up on somebody like that. That's an intimidation tactic. It ain't working with me, bud. Okay. And here That's you go again. Good to know that it's not working with you. This is your I'm chief glad that you're not intimidating me. My intent to intimidate you. My intent is to identify you. No, it ain't happening. Okay. Well, you've taken all the pictures you're going to take then. Oh, well, you've taken all the pictures you're going to take then. Listen, y'all. These kids want to act up in school. Want to go to school and embarrass you? Want to make like they ain't got no home training? So I told my son, don't go to school master no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're going to embarrass me like this? You no, know, so now I'm going to cut his hair. Oh, I got to ask you. Let me ask you. Hey. Hey, do me a favor. Can we walk, guys? Now I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your ID on the You're not getting it. Don't embarrass me. I told him, don't embarrass me. No. Down here today, it is March 13th. It's about 60 degrees out here in Casanova Village at the Village Hall Municipal Building. I'm gonna go ahead and get inside here and perform a civil rights investigation and First Amendment audit. Looks like we got the number 1810 here, Casanova Municipal Building. This thing's been municipal since 1810. It looks like at one time it might even have been a fire hall. Uh, it looks like there's walls and these doors, but... Let's go ahead and get inside and see what the, this place has to offer and make sure they respect our rights. Hi. How you doing? Can I help you? Um, no, I don't actually need any help. I'm just out here to take some photographs. Okay. I'm not really sure if we're supposed to walk in there or not. It kind of looks like it. I got all the public candy back there. I see it. Looks like there's some Halloween public candy as well. Looks like she might be going to tell somebody. Might be going to tell somebody. She might be going back to tell the police. Looks like the police department's back there. Just talking to somebody. We're all gonna get educated today. What do we got here? Safe and light. Not sure what that is. Free gun locks down here. Your free gun lock? I think I will. Give me a free gun lock today. Let's see if we can get to that board meeting room. All right, Erie County fam, I'm going to pause it right here to make sure y'all have hitting that thumbs up so we can spread the accountability and 
help outreach this video because what we're about to see and meet is the chief of police and this is an absolute employee conduct check and if this is the type of behavior that we can expect out of a chief of police in this area what what does the rest of the police force look like it will almost make you wonder um but make sure you guys are all hitting that thumbs up for me and i want every single one of you to leave a comment of what you think of the behavior of this chief of police with no further ado i'd like to introduce you to him right now something i can help with sir yeah can you get me in the meeting room no no there's not a public meeting going on, there's no reason for you to be in the meeting. Yeah, I just wanted to take some photographs of the public area. No, it's not a public area until it, there's a board meeting going on. So there's no public access, huh? Correct. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, I need help. Okay, well, if you please exit the building then. Oh, no thanks. I don't see why I would have to leave public. I don't understand Work why you're filming. Well, I'm just a journalist working on a story and I'm the public. what would your story be? Oh, I can't tell you. It's an investigation at this point. <laughs> so there's uh, no freedom of information? What do you mean? Do you have an uh, 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 agency that you're working for? Uh, I can't disclose that. It would impede my investigation. Uh, so I, as the chief of police, would like to file a foil request with your agency so do you have a business oh, yeah. card no it's not a public agency so i'm not um you know bound by public foil okay That's so you've taken entity. your pictures you can leave now i'll leave when i'm done with my official business here what is your official business i told you i'm working on a story i'm a and the story is channel. i can't tell you that because i'm a it's an investigation i'm telling you and your investigation is i can't tell you that well, why can't you tell me that because it would impede my investigation and how would it impede your investigation I mean, if I told you everything, you, you might act different. I'm not going to act any different than I do every day. And telling somebody to leave public? Y you, there's no reason for you to take any more pictures. You've gotten all the pictures you're going to get. How do you know? Because you're I not know. the arbitrator of who takes pictures and how long they take pictures. Well, because this is the only access that you're allowed to. Right. So you're not allowed in the offices. You're not allowed upstairs. That's not part of the public. Well, I'm not going where it's not. I'm not allowed. Okay, well, oh, I think the public meeting room would be a place that maybe I could take some photographs of no, while I'm working on the story. the meeting room is only public when there's a meeting. Can I get your badge number? I'm the chief of police. I'm Mike Hayes. Badge number is 200. And yours? Sergeant Stevens, 209. Gotcha. Thank you. Now I don't need more help. I'll just, you know, when I'm finished with my business, I'll definitely leave. But until I'm done taking all the photos I need, I'm going to continue doing so. But I don't need any help. Get I also have every right to know who I'm dealing with. No, you don't. Well, but you need it. You me. might want to know, but you don't have the authority to know. If I don't wish to waive my Fourth Amendment rights, you got no authority. I'm not to asking you to waive your Fourth Amendment rights. I'm asking you to identify yourself. That's my Fourth Amendment. How do Amendment. I know you're not wanted by someone? Huh? How do I know you're not wanted? We can have a round robin discussion all day long, all you want. Why are you walking up on me? You're getting closer. You're why not? You're trying to intimidate me. I'm not trying to intimidate you. Well, then why are you stepping so close? I'm just close looking to you? at your equipment. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's a clown. This is the chief of police here in Casanova. Mm-hmm. And you're a scared person to give me your identification. He's gonna step up on me like that. Ridiculous. You, you, don't, you don't get identification. As a matter of fact, it's in my back pocket. If you got the authority, go ahead and take it out if you think you can. I'm asking for your identification. You're not getting it. No. I'm, I'm respectfully declining to give you that. And I'm treating you with respect. I would ask you to do the same. You, respect isn't walk stepping up on somebody like that. That's an intimidation tactic. It ain't working with me, bud. Okay. And here you That's go again. Good to know that it's not working with you. This is your I'm glad that you're not guys. intimidating you. Is it not my intent to intimidate you? My intent is to identify you. No, it ain't happening. Okay. Well, you've taken all the pictures you're going to take then. I ain't. You're done. Nope. There's no need for you to be here. You I'm, have no I'm, business I'm, here. I have pictures to take of you now. That's good. I got a face made for radio. <laughs> this guy just went ahead and took some more steps up on me. This is a chief of police. This is why there's no respect for the police. They, they'd be earning the hate consistently. I, I don't know why this guy thinks he has any authority over a private citizen working on a story on the town hall. Oh, you're not in the town hall. You're in the village hall. If you want the town hall, it's down by the Braylock. No, same difference. No, they're two different separate entities. Yeah. 
You have no business here, sir. Excuse me. Your business is completed. Some pictures of the town hall. You've taken your pictures. No, your business is concluded. Photographs to take over here. And you've taken them. No, I'm not done. Well, I think you are. No, I don't think so. This guy here is used to intimidating people, you can tell. Stepping up on him, he's within six inches of me now. Ridiculous. This is the chief of police. This is, you know, this is where the these younger guys, like the sergeant, are going to learn their behavior from. It's uh, inappropriate. What a joke. Guys, a joke. What do you think about the chief of police stepping up on somebody like that? You don't no feel comment. the need to do that, do you? No comment. Erie County fam, this is William Stevens, a sergeant of the Casanova Police Department. And as you can clearly see, he has a very high disdain for the public. He learned from the chief of police on the behavior, that, on how he acts. You can clearly see how he rolls his eyes in, in disapproval from the public. He, he is an absolute tyrant shitbag just like the chief of police guys um leave your comments about steven as well what do you think about the chief of police yeah. stepping up on somebody like that you, want? you don't no feel comment. the need to do that do you no comment yeah why don't no, talk boss. to the press he's your boss i would imagine so everybody's the press bud you talk to people everybody's the press everybody first amendment the chief of police down here is a clown That is a secure area with access to the public. What makes this a secure area? Because I have investigation offices up there. It's part of the police department. That's part of the police department? It is not part of the public. I mean, it's a public building. Correct. No signage. Don't do notice that it's not publicly accessible. It is a secure area up there. <laughs> it's not secured. It is. It's locked room. The secure would be a chain across here. It says no public access. That would be secure. How do I know you're not lying to me? You clearly don't know the law. How do I know you're not lying to me? Because you clearly can't show identification. I don't need to. And you're done taking pictures then. I'm not done. I'm, I probably got to go another half hour, maybe 40 minutes. Oh good, I've got nothing to do. I have no appointments <laughs> <He's>, later. Because <laughs> we pay him, he's got nothing to do. <laughs> uh, tax money, guys. Oh, so you live in the village again? Okay. I don't know, that's a good kind of questions. I would tell him to get back to work, but apparently you don't have no work to do here. He's got nothing to do, he says. Excuse me. This is a publicly accessible area. I'm not moving. And you've done enough. That's a publicly accessible area. There's, there's nothing here. more to photograph. Right. I mean, I didn't get the hallway before you interrupted me. Well, you were in the hallway. I didn't get the rest of the hallway before you interrupted you me. Excuse me, sir. I'm not moving. Dude, you're just going to block the yeah. free press in this yes, I am. the Police Department here. Yep. Sergeant. They should know better. Chief of Police and the Sergeant should know better. Piss poor behavior out of our public servants down here. You swore an oath to the Constitution, correct? The United States Constitution, you swore an oath to it, right? Sure. What are the five elements of the First Amendment? Sir, I'm not going to answer your question. <laughs> you I'm don't know, here. that's why. Well, I do, but All I'm right, not what, what are you? Make, make, make countrymen proud. If you want to have an Freedom interview, of. you want an interview interview, then you submit your questions to me. Did you hear that, Erie County fam? If you want an interview with him, you can submit your questions ahead of time. Because he 
needs to look them up because he clearly doesn't know the five elements of the First Amendment. He would need to look them up. He has no idea what he swore an oath to. He has no idea about respecting the public either. He said he's got nothing better to do, so why not answer the questions? I even told him to make his countrymen proud. This man has no idea how to make his countrymen proud. He serves himself, and he's a tyrant. Then you submit your questions to me. Why? You got nothing better to do? Neither do you. You said it yourself. You, neither do you. You can leave. I could leave, or I could stay. And I'm not here to answer your questions. So you don't know the five elements of the First Amendment? I said I'm not here to answer your questions. Another one here. Oathbreaker, probably. Does his intimidation tactics, stepping up on people. Unbelievable. How many police officers you got on the force here? Sir, I'm not answering any of your questions. You don't even know that? I'm not answering any of your questions. Do you understand English? This is where you got this guy back here doing the same thing because they say shit rolls down hills. You got this guy, the shit officer, rolling off on the sergeants around here. You can't expect anything better than this out of a police officer in this town of Casanova or the village of Casanova. Can't even make his countrymen proud and, and, and quote the Constitution. What a shit show. You're the one filming it. I'm filming the shit show. This is the, you're the main story now. I came in to do a, a, a story in the village hall, but now, now the story is about how the, the chief of police tries the intimidation tactics, acts like a tyrant, and can't even, you know, tell say the five elements of the First Amendment, basic kindergarten stuff, pretty much. Stuff that you should know in and out. Tell me he needs ID and doesn't call that a part of violation of Fourth Amendment. He knows he can't get it because it is a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Restricting access to the public building. Total tyrants and shitbags down here. Buildings from 1810. Got these stairwells with the cast iron rod, wooden handrails. Can't really get a good look at the building because they're blocking off access to what they call restricted. Clearly, not restricted at all. Can't really get a good look at the board meeting because these guys won't show access to the public, which is ridiculous. But No, I was trying to get a full request from the clerk. I don't need anything from you. You're not very helpful at all. You're not going to answer my questions anyways. You're not going to talk to me. So you can just sit there and act like a sour request behind me and mind your business. What request is it if you want to go to Excuse me, I get some service out here. Business hours open, man. Is there a form that I can give you, sir? Give me the full request form. Sorry, I'm not slow. Okay, I'm Yeah, can I get a full request form? A what? Foil request form? Our FOIA request form is just to send a letter. I'll go to our village attorney. All right, um, can I want to like to do it in person right here, so. Well, I won't get approved right away. I've got to go to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys got five days to acknowledge yeah, them. Email. You can email it to me, and then I will send it to Jim Stokes. Yeah, but I'd like to do it in person, so if you guys got a form that goes on. All right, can I just get a regular piece of paper to fill? Can I get a regular just piece of paper I'll fill it out on? Yeah, I'll give you a piece of paper. Yeah. 
I got a pen. Thank you. There's I appreciate you offering the pen. Table right there. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. So it's maybe a while before you hear back, but I will email it right now to him. I just forgot to make it more specific. Okay, um, just let me know when you're ready. I just want to guys to go write today's okay. date on here. All right, okay, no, I'll send it right over to him for you, okay? If you could possibly give me, like, I don't know, you got a timestamp, you could stamp that and give me a photocopy of it so I, I got it for my it. records. Yeah. I appreciate that very much, thank you. We have the Constitution here if you would like to review it. Maybe you can, uh, you drop something. You can figure that out. The first you can drop something. You might be able to figure it out. I got one of my truck. I could be a free copy of the Constitution. I have one of my own, thank you. Mm -hmm. You would think that you would be honored by saying the First Amendment. Sir, I'm not going to engage in the debate with you. You know what? I think police don't want to do it. Call it qualified immunity. If they're caught on camera admitting they know the Constitution, then they can't violate people's rights. I'm not going to have debate with I, you, That's why I think you're the fam. Yeah, I, that's why right. I think that he doesn't want to say it because he would lose his qualified immunity if he violated somebody's civil rights in that aspect. And you're entitled to your opinion, sir. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Kevin. Well, you hear that, fam? We're entitled to our opinion. So if you have an opinion and you uh, wish to redress his grievances to your government, I mean, that is also your First Amendment right. That's one of the five he can't name. Fam, before I got cut off here and lost my train of thought by this chief of police, what I the point I was trying to make is I believe one of the reasons why police will not quote the First Amendment or the Constitution is because of qualified immunity. If a cop is caught on camera stating the five elements of the First Amendment and then violates somebody down the line, he won't have qualified immunity because there will be proof on camera that they know the First Amendment. Now, if he's caught on camera knowing it, he can't claim he didn't know it. So, in my opinion, cops actually decide to look dumb on camera so that they can play dumb at a later time, date and time. What do you guys think? There you go. I'm going to email the trailer again now. Thank you. Appreciate you. Have a good day. All right, Erie County fam. I put a full request in for the security camera footage of the lobbies, and I also put in for the chief of police's record as far as his complaint record and his whole jacket. And New York State FOIA law gives you five days to the municipality to respond with a letter or email stating that they received your FOIL request. Then they have 20 days past that to either fill it, deny it, or ask for more time given that the information you're asking for is too large. So it has been 10 days since this. How many of you guys think that I got a response letter? If you guessed I did not get a response letter from the village of Casanova, you are correct. They are in violation of the law and we will track them down to the fullest extent of the law here in New York State and take them to New York State Supreme Court if we have to. That's it. One last sorry, look at our sorry excuse of the chief of police, guys. This is top dog here. This is the one they learned this behavior from. Stepping up on people, trying to intimidate, telling somebody they got to leave public. They're going to tell them when, they can, when they're done taking photos. And you know who's learning it? And they're learning it right here. You got this sergeant, this young sergeant who's going to be on the force way longer than this guy, teaching them bad habits. That's what we deal with here. This is the chief of police, total shitbag. Hopefully, you guys learn to do better. Yeah, do better.
that is some piss poor behavior out of a chief of police guys what kind of behavior do you expect the police here to perform when this is the type of behavior and this is the type of attitude the chief of police has this guy needs to not have a job here anymore this guy needs to get a job in the private sector where he thinks he can boss people around and act like a shitbag like that that is some disgusting behavior from a chief of police I don't know where they get off thinking that they can just intimidate people and walk up on them like that. I mean, that's that is the, the piss poorest excuse of public servant I've ever seen as far as the chief of police. You guys let me know what you think in the comments section. Um, clearly, they're not willing to let us into the public board meeting room because it's their board meeting room and they think that they own this joint. Um, I'm sorry, chief, but this is the people's building. The people own this building, they pay your salary and uh that is some piss poor behavior you guys let me know what you think in the comment section chief of police disgusting all right fam that's the casanova chief of police that's our employee conduct check to expose the conduct and the behavior of this piss, piss poor tyrant of a chief of police Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up for me. I appreciate it. It helped the outreach of the video. Let's go ahead and share this video and make sure you comment on what you think of the interactions with this chief of police. If you think that he deserves a paycheck from We the People, if you think that this Sergeant Stevens deserves a paycheck from We the People, or if these public servants need an attitude adjustment to treat the public with respect because I didn't see no respect. What I seen was disgusting behavior out of this department. And uh, you guys let me know what you think and I'll catch you in the next one. We live in society now where people want to recall how they discipline their child. People that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child. You can't you can discipline your child in their room. Take something away from them. If they act up, I'm like, son, you can't play the game. I need your help. I also have every right to know who I'm dealing with. No, you don't. Well, you, you might want to know, but you don't have the authority to know. Oh, well, you take all the pictures you're going to take them. I don't have anything to do with it as far as following the Constitution. Dude, you pull the Constitution out of your pockets out here. Like that was supposed to prove something. First Amendment, freedom of the press. Your name is not Dan Erie County. Arm. This isn't Erie County. Yeah. Sure it is. Under here is Dan Erie County. Legitimate? Maybe. Official? No.